Today, I'll show you how to implement secure multi-factor authentication in your agent force agent using two custom Apex powered agent actions. We'll walk through the complete flow from agent builder configuration to the underlying Apex code. Let's start an agent builder where we've configured our travel booking agent. The key to secure authentication is in the agent instructions. These instructions ensure that our agent always verifies the member's identity before sharing sensitive information or processing bookings using the two actions that we specified. Now let's see it in action. So I'm a customer interested in booking a tour. Let's start a conversation with our agent. As instructed, the agent asked for my membership ID. Now the agent has initiated the email one-time password action and sent me an OTP. So let's hop into my email and grab the OTP. Perfect. Now that I've given the agent my one-time password and it's verified ownership using my membership number and the password, I can continue the booking. I'll ask to book for two people. The agent has found a session for tomorrow morning. Perfect. That sounds great. Let's confirm. Finally, the agent's going to retrieve my customer details using my membership ID now that I've been verified and use it to book my session. The agent has successfully verified my identity using multi-factor authentication and completed my booking. Now let's delve into how these agent actions are configured. First, the email one-time password action. As a best practice, you'll want to put the bulk of instructions for using an action in the action itself. And that's what I've done here. I've written precise agent instructions for how and when to use this action, detailing that it's the first step of a two-part multi-factor authentication process. The action accepts a membership ID and outputs a result object that includes a message and a result. The second step is the verify one-time password action. The agent instructions here specify that this is the second part of the multi-factor authentication process. It accepts the OTP code, which must come from the user, as well as the membership number, which can come from the agent's context. The action returns a code, which is filtered from the agent for safety, a message detailing the operation and the result of the operation. And that's how you can implement secure multi-factor authentication in your agent force agent using custom agent actions. The combination of clear agent instructions and well-defined actions ensure consistent security practices while maintaining a smooth user experience. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.